I'm Deborah Khan with the latest on the search for Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, which has been missing for almost two days. Many countries are now looking for the aircraft somewhere between Vietnam and Malaysia. Today, China sent two maritime rescue ships from the southern Chinese island of Hainan. Vietnamese teams spotted two oil slicks in the South China Sea, but rescuers haven't been able to determine if they've come from the missing aircraft. Malaysian authorities are now working with international agencies, including the FBI, for clues about the identity of two passengers traveling on stolen passports. Meanwhile, families of passengers on board have been told to prepare for the worst. Joining me with the latest from Kuala Lumpur is Wall Street Journal reporter Jake Maxwell Watts. Okay, Jake, Malaysian Airlines has certainly uh, made a point to keep uh, the public informed with its investigation, holding press conferences about every couple of hours. What's the latest with this investigation? Okay, well, the sad news is, unfortunately, uh, the airliner has not yet been located. Uh, the Malaysia's acting transport minister has been leading many of these press conferences, um, and he's trying to provide as much information as possible, but at this time, they just don't know where the aircraft is. Um, the search has been expanded quite considerably um, on the news that perhaps the airliner might have turned around from its original course. Now, the cause of, of that turnaround is unknown, and how far back it made it, if any distance at all is, is also unknown. Actually, what we have done is actually look into some of the recording on the radar that we had. And uh, we realized that there is a possibility, there is a possibility that aircraft did make a turn back. So at the moment, the, the, the search, search forces, which is quite a large international contingent, uh, are, are looking on either side of the Malaysian Peninsula. Okay, and we know that the Vietnamese um, Air Force had spotted two large oil slicks in the South China Sea. Uh, any word on that and how likely is it that those slicks are related to the aircraft? Okay, well, uh, again, the, the, the oil slicks, or at least that there was oil on the water, has been confirmed. However, it's still not clear whether that was jet fuel or, or entirely unrelated. Um, earlier today, um, Malaysia's transport minister was saying that uh, there are aircraft above the oil oil slicks at the moment, trying to trying to establish where it might have come from. Um, he did say that there was no debris, so it, it's not clear whether this whether the oil came from the aircraft. But certainly, uh, that's still being investigated. Okay, and now we have uh, additional uh, rescue crews from China, Vietnam. Uh, the U.S., I believe, is sending a ship from Japan. How coordinated is this effort? Okay, well, it's turned into a very large effort with, as you say, several countries involved. Uh, Boeing, I believe, uh, has also sent along assistance. Um, and Malaysia Airlines um, is obviously dealing with their side of it as well consoling the, the, the members of the, the uh, passengers' families. Um, so, so, so really, it is a gigantic effort. Um, the updates we're getting are, are that um, at, at various points in the search area um, are, the, are the different forces, but, but you know, it's a huge area that they're exploring. It's a vast area of the, of the South China Sea. Uh, so really, they're trying to get as many, as many parties involved as possible. Okay, Jake Maxwell Watts, thanks for joining us from Kuala Lumpur. We'll keep you updated as we continue to get information on this story on WSJ.com.